discover the rarest and most inconceivable cars on this planet. We're talking getting up close and personal. I'm joining the Motorfest adventure with one goal in mind. Gather the best concept cars ever made and put you in the driver's seat. Check this out, guys. Cars. Ready? For the first time, we are unleashing these dream cars and putting them to the test. And it's up to you to unlock their full potential. After all, this is no regular motor show. This is Motorfest. The future awaits. Are you ready? What's up, guys? It's Supercar Blondie here in Hawaii at Motorfest, and I'm ready to introduce our very first two supercars. I reckon if we're going to do this, we got to start big. Our first theme, concept cars by Lamborghini. Right, you can choose between the very rarely seen Lamborghini Egoista or the, I cannot believe this is real, Terzo Millennio, and just feel what it's like to set them free in this world. You think you're ready? Let's go. Good choice, Lamborghini Egoista. All right, I got a few things to tell you about this car. It's Supercar Blondie back on the field where we're following one of the most promising drivers of the festival for some serious concept car action. Say hi to the driver, guys. Ah, so this is how Motorfest does things. Well, we're gonna get along just fine. In this first event, the idea is to push the Lamborghini to really high speeds and reach each checkpoint on time, which means going fast, maintaining that speed no matter what, and also not running out of time. All right, as far as I know, this first route starts with a wide road with no sharp turns, so there's no problem going all out with that Lambo. But be careful, the road gets narrower just down the way. While you're driving, don't miss some of the cool designs on the track. Look at that gate, it looks so cool. See, it's super tight here. And at 300, this makes a huge difference. Check out the sun bouncing off that car. Doesn't it just give you the feels? There's the finish, guys. Enjoy these last few seconds. And that was a glimpse of the Lamborghini Egoista.
Lamborghini Terzo Millennio. I'm on it. Good choice. All right, that Lamborghini Terzo Millennio is ready to race. Are you? The best word to describe this car is visionary. Let me tell you about it. It was developed in collaboration with MIT. It's a look to the future of Lamborghini. It's all electric with a super capacitor. And get this, the body of the car is made from special materials that generates its own electricity. That's the future. And I almost forgot, it's gonna have a special sonic signature to replace the roar of the V12 engine that Lamborghini is so well known for. The Terzo Millennio. Get ready to step into the future. No time to rest. The Motorfest tradition is never stop driving. And you know what they say when in Rome. We're talking Egoista versus Terzo Millennio right here. It's happening. filming all of this and wow that view isn't it awesome all right i've been told that that path is a little more technical give us a good show but you know watch your turns keep your wits about you not to make you nervous, but these cars must not, under any circumstance, end up in a ditch. They're worth millions of dollars. I just gotta remind you guys that this race is unprecedented. These two incredible cars going head to head. We've gotta go for it. Too intense here, just pull back slightly. We're reaching the toughest part now, lots of turns from here on. Finally out of these curves. Now's a good time to throw down that foot. Which car are you going to pick? One of the toughest decisions for sure. This is Dream Cars Part 2. Choose, drive and make us fly.
Bugatti Veyron Barquetta. All right, someone wants to enjoy that Hawaiian breeze. We're back for a new round and it's all about Bugattis this time. Two exquisite hypercar concepts. And if you're anything like me, you're gonna love this. in just seconds. You know, not all concept cars have finished interiors, but the cars we've chosen really do, and you've got to see them. My tip would be to switch to the cockpit view to take a closer look. This is your chance to admire the incredibly futuristic interior as well. Don't get too distracted, of course. You've still got to stay on the road. A little too intense here. Just pull back slightly. Checkpoints, we've got to keep up the pace. The Bugatti La Voiture Noire, the one and only. Great choice. What's up, guys? It's Supercar Blondie here with you in Hawaii, and you're about to drive the stunning Bugatti La Voiture Noire. This is a car with a $20 million price tag. Only one car was ever made, and the name literally translates to the black car, but it sounds way better in French. This car is inspired by one of the rarest Bugattis, the Type 57 SC Atlantic, the last all-black Atlantic that was ever made, and it's been missing since World War II. Now, a more modern futuristic take on that car is back. Are you ready to get behind the wheel? Let's go. Did you 
like our previous run, then you're in for a treat. Same deal, after showing off, time for a proper face-off Motorfest style. are both able to reach insane speeds. A little too intense here, just pull back slightly. Second lap, two more to go. The Veyron and Lava Chunoir. These cars are at the pinnacle of luxury, and yet they're also defined by their incredible power. These two Bugattis aren't done yet. Are you guys enjoying the show? Use the car's full potential, unleash it, no regrets. Go for it, driver. The Lover Tunoir once again shows why it's the most expensive car ever made. Move to the third and final part of our Dream Cars Tour. And we got two great surprises coming straight from France. These are some of the most gorgeous and unconventional concept cars I have ever seen. There is no question about it. Are you ready? All right, we've got what I call the most beautiful car in the world, the Renault Trezor and the super fierce Citroen GT. No matter which one you choose first, you're in for some serious fun. This is French Dreams. Let's go. Going for the Renault Trezor? Don't you agree? It's one of the most beautiful cars ever made. What's up guys? We're about to head into the third part of this experience and our driver's done a killer job so far.
We've seen how iconic supercar manufacturers can go beyond our wildest dreams with their designs, with concepts like La Voiture Noire and Egoista. Now, let's see what happens when we let the creative minds coming from more conventional manufacturers roam free. And as you can see, the answer is nothing short of incredible. The difference here is even more obvious, as we all know Renault and Citra are usually focused on delivering everyday practical cars, which these definitely aren't. Take a look at them! It's like we've jumped years into the future. The widest boulevards of Honolulu have been cleared just for the driver. What does it feel like from inside the car? Our driver's entering the freeway, which means we're almost there. Hold on. This was the Renault Trezor, everyone. One of my favorite looking cars in The Citroen GT. Who knew Citroen had such a cool factor? Ah, so you like a mean and intimidating, hey? Fair enough. It is a face-off after all. You're not going to be disappointed with the Citroen GT. Originally, this car was created for the video game industry, and they designed this elongated tail simply to scare the pants off your competitors. I swear, it's true. Actually, Citroën wanted to produce a limited number of these cars to be sold at around $2 million each, but unfortunately, it never came to be. Now there's only one in the world and you get to drive it right now. All right, that's the Citroën GT in a nutshell. And be careful, I've driven it. It bites. What's up guys, the Supercar Blondie channel is back online for a race between two cars that are just out of this world. The outstanding Citra GT versus my personal crush, the Renault Trezor. And icing on the cake, the weather here couldn't be more beautiful. tower. Does anyone know what it's called? Here we are, cruising down the legendary Waikiki beach at speeds that'll rip through you. What a view! The city is all ours. Do not slow down, we're going straight through that building.
Not many turns in the upcoming stretch of road, driver. Go for it. French sci-fi duel, starting with full power on this strip of Hawaiian freeway. The Citroen GT, mean, intimidating and uncompromising during... Welcome back, guys. All right, now it's time for you to race all of the cars in the playlist at the same time. Your car and the final car to be introduced into the Dream Cars lineup is the Mercedes Vision EQ Silver Arrow. This is a beautiful, sleek, all-electric car with room just for you. It has this intense paintwork that gives off the feel of liquid metal. And when you step inside, it features a panoramic screen to help you navigate. A car that was made for this very race. So I'm not gonna say any more. You just need to jump in behind the wheel and see for yourself. This is Supercar Festival. Let's do this. It's on, the last event of the dream experience. Everything has led to this moment. We're going all the way south of the island, so this is gonna be a long and tough race. Serious ups and downs on this path. these dents to the manufacturer. showdown to behold. Even for me, this race is a big first. Stay tuned, everyone. It's raining supercar concepts here. It's a 
very expensive car. Just saying. The volcano just appeared in the distance, which means we're about halfway through. the silver arrow. We've moved heaven and earth to get you this car, but it was totally worth it. Just look at this thing. Tell me this is not the most futuristic car you've ever seen, or better yet, driven. Silver Arrow is 100% electric and was made as a tribute to the previous Silver Arrows, including the famous 1938 speed record breaker, the Mercedes Record Wagen. I'd love to explore that special Motorfest car meet and see some custom shows. That's something I always love to do when I get the opportunity. Push that silver arrow, she can take it. Woo! The Mercedes EQ Silver Arrow, unchained and un-